Today we're going on a day trip to New Jersey. That this is on Audible though, it is on my wish list for Audible. I have like seven things to try on. It's giving Easter mother hen. <laughs> Today we're going on a day trip to New Jersey. Let's go get ready. We used to have each other's playlists No, no we Used to be each other's best friends Yeah We're going guys, so as I said earlier today Me and my family are doing a day trip to New Jersey I woke up really hungry today, I don't know why so me and my mom are just getting ready. I have no idea where my stepdad is, but we're getting ready. Um, I'm, when I go upstairs, I want to pick another book because I am still reading Carrie Soto. Um, and I'm on the last 65 pages. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to probably finish reading this in the car ride um, there. So I'm going to bring that. And I want to get another physical book off of my bookshelf. I'm kind of feeling like a cheesy romance or like not a cheesy romance but like a romance I think I have in mind what book I'm gonna get but yeah I made my coffee for the day eating my breakfast I'm gonna go get ready um it's really cold today where I live and it's raining all day so I'm probably gonna wear my sweatsuit that I got for my birthday and just chillax so I'll see you guys when more stuff happens. Alright guys, so this is my bookshelf. It's changed so much since I've last um, updated you guys. I'm going to set you guys up right here on the corner of my bed. There we go. It's changed so much since I've last done a video. The last video I uploaded was my birthday video i never ended up um uploading my new york city vlog and i probably won't but i've accumulated so many books so i feel like i should go through the books that you haven't seen really quickly i'm just gonna do like quick like sputes of them all all right i'm just gonna like go through these really quickly um the may I heard this is really good. This is kind of like a mystery. I really want to read. I really want to do a book more in October time where I read kind of. Hold on. There we go. I really want to do a video in um, more like closer to October, closer to spooky time where I read The Maid and The Housemaid, two separate authors, but I want to read both of these books. Um, Mm, no, actually, I'll probably save the Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney. I'll probably save, I'll probably save Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney for another time. But I really want to do a video where I read both of these books. So, so this is the first book. Um, this book, Everything I Never Told You. This is a really like short book. It's supposed to be about a Chinese American family in the 1970s. Their oldest daughter, I believe, their oldest, Lydia, Lydia, goes missing, and Lydia is like the glue that holds this whole family together so when she goes missing and turns up dead um it follows her family grieving and learning to live without her um girl interrupted i feel like i don't need to explain this so go interrupted another one i don't have to explain perks of being a wallflower i saw the movie i saw like half of the movie um and i didn't understand it and loki was bored so i want to read the book and then watch the movie and see if maybe I can understand the hype. 
crying in H Mark. This book, I think. No, I got this for my birthday, so I didn't show you guys. I got this for my birthday. Um, it's a birthday gift. Really, really good. I read the first couple pages when I first almost bought myself this book and decided I didn't want to buy it and I asked it for my birthday. So I'm going to read this eventually. Like when I need a good sad book, I'll read this one. Book Thief by Marcus Zazak. Don't know. From what I remember from this book, I know it's about the Holocaust, and I'm pretty sure it's this Jewish person moves in with this family, and and the girl and the guy um, bond over books. And I think at the, the time, books were banned, so yeah, okay. Picture of Dorian Gray, I didn't, you guys didn't see that. I talked about this in my New York City vlog, which I'm not uploading. We found this really cool bookstore, and I didn't vlog in there because it was super f cramped. But I found Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. In my second to last semester, I took like a, I don't, it was like a movie motion picture class type of thing. And we watched the movie, did a whole section on it. It was an all right movie, but I didn't like fully understand the story. So hopefully the book will be really good. The lady at the counter said that the writing is very beautiful, so I have high hopes. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Watched the movie, thought it was good, decided I would try reading the book to get more of the like unspoken tensions. I actually did start this a little while ago, but I only made it to chapter two. And then the last book, which I got, which is Sandy Hook, An American Tragedy and Battle of Truth, Battle for the Battle? for truth um i feel like everybody knows about sandy hook it was a school shooting that happened in connecticut i live very very close to connecticut i remember when this happened i remember when it was on the news i remember where i was i remember what i was wearing i remember what, what me and my family were about to do um and like i said it was very very close to my home so, um, I really want to read about this because I think this explores kind of like the aftermath and everything like leading up. First of all, though, this print. Oh my god, it's like micro. Oh my god, I have not seen print this tiny. Anyways, those are all the new books that I got, but I'm going to organize this and I'll be back. All right, you guys, I'm slowly narrowing it down. I think I'm going to put seven days in June back um, only because I've heard that this is more of like an adult romance. Um, like it's kind of like heavier and like you gotta, like it has quotes that are like really going to speak to you and think to you. And I don't want that right now. I want something just like cheesy, cute, quick and fun. So then that leaves me between... Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and Delilah Green doesn't care. These two books are va vastly different in size. Please look at that. Wow. Um, I can't decide at all because I know I've read Tila Herbert's books before. It's really good writing, really fast paced. You can fly through it. Um, it keeps you. It keeps you in. Um, I have not read. Ashley Herring Blake's before but I also heard this book is really good I know for a fact that this is on audible though it is on my wish list for audible I don't know if get a life Chloe Brown is let me actually look it is okay so now I need to listen to both the samples and I'm gonna decide driver she'll be fine love don't you worry about that muscle she hadn't realized but tense suddenly relaxed Delilah glanced over her shoulder at the sleeping white woman next to her. Dark blonde pixie cut, creamy skin, nice mouth. All right, I think I've decided. <laughs> I'm going to go with Delilah Green doesn't care. The audiobook lady. I just can't do accents right now because right now I'm reading Carrie Soto and the, the lady that is doing like the father's voice. Oh, makes me want to cringe because she does like a really heavy like raspy hispanic man voice and it sounds terrible i'm sorry no offense to the like all the other voices great 
the fathers though you just i'm sorry you just didn't master it um so that's the green um doesn't care hopefully we start this today we may not we will see anyways i'm gonna get ready i think i'm gonna do some light 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 makeup let's go We are at a rest stop, but I found this bakery next door. This is a proper bakery, but I need to get my wallet, so. You guys, my nails just fucking broke. God, I hate these tips. I've been using the Beatles tips. They are terrible. Definitely buying new tips. Oh God. And damn, now my teeth hurt from biting that off. Okay, I'm gonna have my wallet. Can I do a corn muffin? So it was ordered. And I think that is it. I'm sorry, y'all have to see me like this. <laughs> so that was eventful. I got a corn muffin. Somebody eats, I'm actually starving. Um, what was this? Uh, this is something else. My nail broke. That's what I was telling you guys. Look at that. This one. My middle finger. It looks stupid. Um, it's a good thing that I didn't do any, like, detailing to my nails yesterday. I'm, like, gonna have to find, like, a file or something to shave it down because I just bit off the rest. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. These are the tips that I've been using. And... Honestly, I do not like them. I'm gonna go back to my old tips. I my mistake for trying new stuff. Okay, I can't put it up right now. I'm gonna put up this is the tips that I'm using. These are the tips that I'm gonna get. Because these tips are really, really good. Um, my mistake for thinking that the beetle nails were gonna be good, they're not. I don't low key like lately the Beatles brand has been lacking for me. Their nail glue is still really good. Like I still use their nail glue, but besides that, it's been lacking. So a part of my book just got really crazy. Um, my Carrie Soto video, which will probably be out after this, um, y'all know because I just talked about it. I'm going to finish reading this book. I will probably finish it by the time we get to um, this place we're going to. I don't... Anyways. I only have a couple pages left. I'm going to eat my corn muffin and try to drink not as much coffee so I don't have to pee as frequent. We still have about two hours. It's 11.30 right now. And it says we should be there at 1 o'clock. But we'll see. Okay, go to H&M. It's fine. We have a Sephora at home. Uh, I have not been in H&M in literal months. It has been so long since I've stepped foot into an H&M. And then this is the best H&M because they have like all like the like exclusive -y stuff. I'm gonna put y'all away. I'm gonna just grab a whole bunch of shit and start trying stuff on. A tip for all your shoppers: right here, sell section will be your best friend hi guys so i'm gonna need my microphone because i don't want to get copyrighted by the music but we're in the dressing room i have like seven things to try on um i forgot that my graduation is june 3rd and i need something to wear and i got a green dress that hopefully will work because i think it's really cute um i got lucky number six well my favorite number six my mom got her lucky number 13 which is so funny for dressing rooms but i'm gonna set y'all i'm not gonna set you guys up while i change but i'll show you guys each outfit all right guys i'm starting out with these pants they fit me beautifully and look at like they're perfectly like lengthwise really cute definitely i think i'm gonna get these I'm definitely going to spend a good chunk of change at H&M because I have not shopped here in so long. I'm 
It's cute, but I don't like how it makes my stomach look. Alrighty, I'm all done. So I am not taking this stuff. That green dress, that black dress. And then there was another black dress I didn't even try on. And then those white shorts were just bigger size. I am taking though the white shirt, the yellow shirt, I mean white shorts, yellow shirt, and those pink pants. I think if I find a good top to go with those pink pants, I could wear that for graduation. But I don't know. Really cute. Anyways, more shopping to come. 12 seconds later. Listen, when I tell y'all six is just my number, it really is. Because I'm back in the dressing room and I have dress options to try for graduation. Let's try this try on haul. This is so cute. <gasps> but I can't tell if I want it in black or white because I feel like black is low key giving funeral. But I'm going to try on the white one also. But I really like this one. I like this one a whole lot better. I think I might get this just to have for the summer. It's giving, oh, I don't like those sides. I do not like the back. I'm not gonna tie this, but it's giving Easter mother hen, mother-in-law, gram gram neck. This one's cute, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to church. This one's a no, this one's a no, this one's a no. That's a yes, I think I'm gonna wear that one to graduation. When we were in the mall, we went to coach and we were talking to one of the workers and she gave us this restaurant called Noches de Colombia. It's Colombian food and she said it's really good, they sell alcohol and it's a vibe. So we're gonna go have a vibe. I was knocked out in the car. We are not at. <laughs> I was not there. You can't see it. We're at Walmart. I need to find me a mouth guard. And I'm low key gonna look for this particular coffee cup I want. I just haven't gone to a Walmart. But I'm gonna look for one now. This is the deadest Walmart I've ever seen. And also, I'm sure the mouth guards is in this section. for this cup because it's supposed to be a really good like cold brew cup oh 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 it's right here perfect it's perfect I 
it was going back and forth between this color and that orange but i think i'm gonna do orange i think the orange is so nice i'm gonna go orange i'll come to you it's fine hi guys oh god so i'm back home i sadly didn't get the cup but i'm gonna order it next week um but i did get the universal mouth guard so i'm gonna do this tonight um it is 9 40 i'm about to go take a shower and just honestly lay in my bed for the night i am on the last little section of my carry soto literally these these two pages or i think there's like uh, there's about like four or five pages in here and then i'm done with the book so i'm gonna finish the book talk about it in a different video and then i'm gonna start the green doesn't care i also need to fix my nail not flip me off just show y'all my nail i'm pro probably gonna just read while it soaks off and yeah i'm just gonna relax the rest of the night i just wanted to end this vlog we didn't do much we honestly just went shopping and got food but that's just how some of our day trips are it's just chill and relax um yeah so i bought more than what i was expecting but it was all fun um, i'll see you guys in the next video bye